Senators are reacting to the news that President Trump is leaning toward getting out of that global agreement on climate change. I think what the consequence will be inevitably is the diminishing of confidence in our government, in our commitment to preserving the environment, clean air and water, but most of all, saving the planet. Look, the United States has great relationships throughout Europe. It's going to have those relationships with or without this agreement. Those relationships are based in part on the military security that we provide to the world. A final decision hasn't been made yet, but the president promises an announcement over the next few days. Joining me now is California Democratic Congressman Scott Peters, a member of the Committee on Energy and Commerce and a former environmental lawyer. Congressman, thank you very much for joining us. What is your biggest concern if we pull out of this deal? Well, I hope we won't pull out of the deal. I mean, our, our children are counting on us to leave them a planet that's habitable and healthy. Uh, and this would turn our backs on an existential crisis uh, comprised of things like sea level rise, more intense wildfires, droughts, food shortages. We shouldn't do that to our children. Second, uh, we're, Americans are looked to for leadership. And like with NATO, like with trade, we see our country pulling back, leaving, leaving us less leverage to lead uh, and to make better solutions for our country and for the world. And third, the job opportunities here in the clean energy economy are the jobs of the future. Why shouldn't we be the place uh, where those jobs are developed? What we do by leaving is send a signal that uh, you should invest in other places, not in America. I think it just would be a real shame uh, and abdication of leadership, terrible for the world if we leave. Congressman, I, I hope you're just watching that story that we just aired from Jacob Soboroff about that Indiana family and, and their son who has just been sick and sick and sick and sick. And there's no, there's no polluting registers by a number of the, of the power plants in that state. What is going on in our country where that is allowed to happen, where kids are allowed to get sick over and over and over again. And the government says, you know what, um, I don't think that uh, the polluter uh, markers are, are doing much and we don't really care. Right. Well, I do think that, uh, as I said, we owe a duty to our children and our grandchildren to leave them a planet that's safe and to take care of them. And when you see things like Flint, when you see things like this example in Indiana, um, we need to move away from that. And I would say that market forces, as I think the story pointed out, are driving us away from coal. No one thinks coal is the investment of the future. No one thinks coal is going to drive our economy in the future. We should be embracing new technologies that, that are opportunities, not just like in California, but in places like Indiana and West Virginia, where those young people, uh, they need a future. They need a future that's clean and one brings opportunity. Uh, that's why I'm really concerned about we, us turning our backs potentially on this Paris Agreement, which is uh, such a great opportunity for America to continue to lead and to prosper. Trump ran on, on America first as an ideal and as a priority. Yeah. Um, what, what does this mean diplomatically for the United States if we were to withdraw from it? Uh, I, hate to, I hate to say, but I, I, I think it's, it's terrible for us. And I think you saw the reaction of uh, Democratic leaders in Europe this past week. Uh, I think they're quite appalled. They've got to be concerned. But what does that uh, mean? They're appalled. They're they can't concerned. What does that mean in concrete terms uh, for, for gonna, what our relationships are? Well, it means instead of leading, we're going to be left behind. And uh, look with respect to China, too, what's happening. China's not, they're not being fooled. They're closing coal plants. They're investing in this clean energy economy. They've committed to lower their emissions by 60 to 65 percent over the ne next two decades. Uh, they're not suckers. They know that there's an opportunity in this. And it's an opportunity by turning our back on it. Not only are we not going to lead it, we're going to leave it behind. So and, we're not uh, going to create the same jobs for, for it? Is that what you're saying? The technology That's is right. going to leave us behind? The technology will be developed in other places if we're not willing to stand behind this agreement and to lead as America has over the past generations. We should be leading in this area uh, like we should be leading in NATO, like we should be leading in trade. And what we see with the Trump administration, he's going backwards. We can't invest in the past. We have to invest in the future. The Paris Agreement is a great opportunity to do, to do that, and I think we should all be behind it. And I hope that my Republican colleagues uh, will stand up uh, for the right thing. Congressman Scott Peters, thank you very much for joining us.